Security, privacy and anonymity can sometimes be in contradiction to each other. For example, a feature within your browser might check every website that you visit to see if it's on a known malware distribution site. This feature helps security because it can stop you going to sites with malware, but can potentially interfere with your privacy and anonymity as the site, the malware distribution site, is maintaining constant contact with your browser and could be constantly updated on what sites that you are visiting and when. And in situations like this, you need to make a decision between security, privacy and anonymity. People's tolerance for being tracked and the disclosure of their personal information and activities online is different. If you're a political dissident fighting for human rights, you may need total privacy and anonymity online against your government. If you're an average internet user in the West, you might just not want your emails read and your surfing history revealed and find that to be an imposition. There is a spectrum of consequences to disclosure and de-anonymization, from mild privacy invasion to a life depending on it. The amount of privacy and anonymity you require is directly proportional to the amount of security you need. So bear that in mind as we go through the course and you choose what security controls that you want and need to apply. I'll say that again, the amount of privacy and anonymity you require is directly proportional to the amount of security that you need. The more privacy and anonymity, the more security controls. A quote here from Bruce Schneier. Privacy isn't about hiding something. It's about being able to control how we present ourselves to the world. It's about maintaining a public face while at the same time being permitted private thoughts and actions. It's about personal dignity.